Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're finally going to be doing the best and worst of red lipsticks. I didn't intend to make this a series. It originally just started out with me just looking for like the best black lipstick, because as someone who like doesn't wear black lipstick, I like black lipstick way too much. I think it looks great on me. <laughs> and I couldn't find a lot of big like huge review videos on it. So I did two volumes of the best and worst in black lipsticks and I had a lot of fun doing them. And you guys like them a lot. They're some of my most viewed videos and all the comments on my second volume were asking me to do like other colors. So I looked through my makeup collection and I had enough red lipsticks to do a red lipstick video right off the bat. So I feel like I've got a good mixture of products here. I've got some high end, I've got some low end. It's about half bullet lipsticks and half liquid lipsticks. So I feel like we're, we've got a good balance here. We've got lipsticks I love and we've got lipsticks that I really regret buying. I am also mostly barefaced today. I, I'm, I'm getting used to my new filming schedule. I normally film, or I used to normally film, first thing in the morning, makeup fresh faced, and then I would go to work. I am now filming mostly like on the weekends and like at night <laughs> and oh it's weird. <laughs> so I had a long day today, it's like pouring outside, I don't know if you can hear the rain. So after like taking two trains, getting poured <laughs> on, coming home, my foundation was not looking the best. Was not. So I just took off my foundation and I just tried a little something, I just did like some bronzer and some blush and some highlight just on my bare face. And honestly, I think it looks kind of cute. I'm not going to know how it looks on camera until like I go to edit this. But like right now, it's looking kind of cute. And the lipstick, like I feel like the bold lipstick here is the center of attention. And so let's jump in. Let's just go ahead and ignore the rest of my face. And we'll jump in to the lipsticks. All right, so I did a good this time. I put my notes on my phone so that I don't have to keep looking at my laptop because I did that last time and it looks a bit weird looking over there. So let me pull out all of my lipsticks. So I basically have these in order of um, least favorite to favorite. And you'll notice that we're going to go through all the bullet lipsticks first. I think there's a time and a place for a bullet lipstick. They take a lot more work. You got to babysit them, but you do feel, I don't know, I feel glamorous touching up a bullet lipstick, but I'm not going to wear a bullet lipstick like to work. I'm going to wear a bullet lipstick when... I don't know. I'm out doing fancy things. Like if I, when I went to go see a show in the city, I'll wear a bullet lipstick then because what else am I going to do? Like <laughs> I can touch up. I'm not like running back and forth trying to get things done. Right? Right. So we're going to go through basically all the bullet lipsticks first and then we'll get into the liquid lipsticks. The first lipstick I have is, I got a bone to pick of this lipstick. It's more of a collector's item than an actual cosmetic item, in my opinion. And this is from Besame Cosmetics. And this is just their lipstick in the shade C213 Red Hot Red. I bought this in a tourist trap. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and admit this. I did not buy this directly from Besame. I bought this at a, um, like I said, a tourist trap down the Jersey Shore. <laughs> I think it was in Asbury Park. There was this kind of... Um, pinup themed shop and they had a whole bunch of cute dresses and bathing suits and they had a counter of Besame cosmetics and I went to the store and saw this counter before I was really really into makeup and so I kind of thought at that time that Besame was like a I don't know like a really really small kind of indie brand which I don't know if they technically are an indie brand but they're definitely bigger than I thought they were and I saw their prices. I went to this store a few years ago and I saw their prices and I was like, nope, <laughs> no. I think it was last year I actually went back and this time after being into makeup for a bit but still not really knowing Besame as a brand, um, I went in and I purchased this lipstick. So they market this, this is supposed to be the exact shade of lipstick that Marilyn Monroe used. It's like her famous red. I think it's, it's a collector's item. This isn't like an everyday use kind of lipstick. It is gorgeous. <laughs> the packaging is amazing. I love the way that the bullet is actually formatted or formed because I think this actually helps to make a, a much cleaner line and a much better application than some of the other bullets we're going to be talking about. But everything about this just screams, like I said, collector's item. And this, I paid $30 for this. Yes, 33 <laughs> Not the most expensive one here, but it is the most expensive one that I paid for. And was it worth that? 
no it is very thick it is a thick lipstick you're gonna feel it going on it's more of an experience to put it on and also besame has like a whole tutorial there are instructions on how you have to put this lipstick on if you want to put it on like correctly which I probably did not do in my application. Yeah, and the last thing I wrote is that you need to babysit it. It is very smudgy. It, I, I will say I did not wear a lip liner with any of these because I kind of wanted them all to be tested on their own merits. So this does move. It does get on your teeth. It gets on your face. And you know what it is about red lipstick? Once it's on your face, you're just like screwed, <laughs> you know? So it's a, it's a really overpriced collector's item. Was it kind of cool and that's why I jumped in and purchased it? Yeah. But if I could go back in time, I wouldn't have bought this. Next, we have a matte lipstick from MAC Cosmetics. And this is their matte lipstick in the shade Russian Red. And I have a little mini here. I purchased this at Ulta for $10. Their full size is $18. So honestly, I think you're getting overcharged a bit for this mini because this is really all the product that you get when the full size is only like $8 more and you get like more than double the product. This was so dry it is it is a matte 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 dry <laughs> like to the point where it like i don't know if you can see it in the application but it like drags on your lips to put on and it's just uncomfortable and it feels flaky even though you just put it on the color is absolutely gorgeous this is honestly like one of the best like blue toned red lipsticks but it's the most uncomfortable thing to wear so really i could only recommend this if you really want a nice gorgeous red lipstick for like a photo not even a video just like a photo because that's about as long as i could wear it without just like wanting to bite my lips because it was just so dry and so uncomfortable and just burr. so i couldn't do this i really wouldn't recommend it i, I wish i didn't buy the ten dollar mini one but sis, live and learn so the next lipstick we have is actually another mini i think i got this as a 100 point reward at sephora and this is from urban decay and this is the comfort matte lipstick in bad blood i have to say even for a mini the packaging is stunning like it looks like a nice little bullet like i love the fact that people like take bullet lipstick and make it look like a bullet casing it's gorgeous uh and the shade Again, stunning. It is very uncomfortable to the point where I wouldn't want to reach for this again. It's not as uncomfortable as the MAC one, but it's this bad. I've got like, I don't know, I guess a high kind of expectation for lipsticks because now I know like with liquid lipsticks just how comfortable and how like long wearing and long lasting a lipstick can be and so i guess i'm holding these below lipsticks up to a higher standard but not really because the next lipstick we're going to talk about is a cheaper one that is actually the most comfortable and that i would wear but i don't know these higher end like matte lipsticks that are just too matte and like are like so uncomfortable to wear they're not my cup of tea and i know the first thing people are going to say because I, I was told this too is oh you need to moisturize you need to scrub your lips and you need to moisturize and then put it on i did that <laughs> I actually started using a lip scrub for the first time when I was testing these lipsticks out and I moisturize every morning now before I do my makeup. So I scrub my lips in the morning, put on chapstick, let it sink in, and then I do my makeup. So that's what I did and it was still dry and comfortable. <laughs> All right, so our next lipstick is honestly my go-to bullet lipstick if I'm looking for a red bullet lipstick. This is the only bullet lipstick I would really recommend because it's affordable, the color is gorgeous, and it's comfortable. And it's from ColourPop. This is the ColourPop, I believe it's the Satin Lip in On Display. I can't get enough of this as a bullet lipstick. It is super comfortable. The packaging is gorgeous and I love. It's got the little stars imprinted on it. Like this feels luxurious. This feels more luxurious than some of the other higher end lipsticks that I have. But it's ColourPop. It's like $6. <laughs> I really like that on, it's, this only is only on some of the ColourPop lipsticks, which is kind of annoying, but I love that the bottom has a sticker with the shade name and the color. I know they all have the shade name on the bottom, but not all of them have the color, and I wish they had standardized that early on because all the ColourPop, unless it's a limited edition set, they all have the same packaging, and so it would be so much easier if they all had the color on the bottom because this is really useful. This is the most comfortable bullet lipstick ever. Of course, you're still going to babysit it. It is a bullet lipstick. It is not transfer proof and it does move around. It'll also get on your teeth if you're not careful. If you eat a full big messy meal and it gets on your face, you're screwed. <laughs> but is this the best option that I've found for a bullet red lipstick? 
yes it is gorgeous it is comfortable it'll wear down not as fast as some of the other bullet lipsticks but you are gonna have to hold it like keep it with you in your purse and reapply as needed again this is like the cheapest bullet lipstick here so if you're gonna go for a bullet lipstick in red do this one and this is just on display i think they have some other red options but this is like the most bright blue based red that i could find next we have a deluxe size sample of a very luxurious brand and i do have a full full size products from here and i let's just say that i i'm glad i got the sample and i probably will i don't know if i will buy it but i would have bought the full size if i didn't have this and i knew what i knew now about the formula this is from ysl and this is the tutage couture matte stain so i bought no i didn't really buy I got a one of those big you know 500 point rewards from Sephora and it's got like a bunch of different things in it I got like a lip kit from YSL a while ago and it was a bunch of little mini YSLs there were some pink there were some bullet lipsticks there were some liquid lipsticks and then there were some stains this is from that kit I didn't actually like purchase a full-size one but I had to use 500 points to get it so that being said this is a nice size bottle especially because this is a stain which I think is an awesome option if you're looking for a nice red lip that isn't going to really move or transfer and it's going to wear down gracefully. Since it is a stain, it is gorgeous and it's super comfortable. Like You can barely feel like you're wearing anything when you have this on. When I say this wears off gracefully, I mean like it's not going to flake off or look like crazy crazy but you are gonna see like the difference in your lip color unless your lips are just like gorgeously already lusciously red i don't know who i'm sure there's someone out there who already has red lips but you're gonna see the difference so of course you're also going to have to take this with you and just babysit like the inner kind of butthole area <laughs> um especially if you're going to be eating that being said this is like right smack dab in the middle of like this favorites list because it is so expensive <laughs> It's YSL. It's going to be pricey. I have a couple of stains from YSL that I love and I recommend those, but I can't recommend them for like everyone because not everyone can spend between $30 and $50 on a lipstick. So if you ever want to splurge, if you ever have got the coupon, if you've got the rouge sale and you want to kind of go out of your comfort zone, this is honestly great. I really like the other shades that I have from this line as well and the full size is so luxurious and so gorgeous and I probably will never use up a full size because they're huge. Like I said, this is a mini. I've had this for over a year and I'm not even close to like halfway using it up. But it is gorgeous. Just, it's just it's pricey. <laughs> it's pricey. Alright, so this next lipstick. It's this high up because the color is uh, amazing. So it looks great in photos. Maybe even a video. But oh boy, do I have a story. <laughs> this is from Physicians Formula and this is the Healthy Lip in the shade fight free reticles like radicals but red okay whatever first things first the applicator on this is absolute garbage <laughs> the shape of it is just uh, i don't know it's a teardrop which is kind of weird and i hate the fuzziness on the applicator it makes it so you can't get a nice clean line because there's fuzzies and the fuzzies are going to bleed out and it's going to look weird on top of that this applicator is so flimsy. You see that? <laughs> That's what happens when you go against your lip and it goes flu and you get like red everywhere. <sighs> Despite all of that, this is a gorgeous color and it looks amazing on, but this will not stay on. <laughs> I wore this to a holiday party last year because it looked gorgeous and I'm just, just like a little family holiday party. We've got food, we've got coquito, we've got snacks and <laughs> I had a few just like finger food snacks, not even a full meal, just like finger foods, right? I had some drinks and then I go to the bathroom and I look in the mirror. The lipstick is like all over here. It's all over my teeth. It's just, oh my God, I look like a madman. So as much as I actually like the color itself, I can't recommend this like at all. I think this probably should have been like at the beginning of the list because eh. It's kind of a waste of money. I actually, back in the day, when these first came out, I bought most of the shades, I'm pretty sure. And I was most excited about like this one and the nude one, but they're all kind of like that. So they look good like on camera or for a quick video, but if you're doing anything in life that requires anything, <laughs> they're gonna do you dirty. They really are. Uh, so yeah, if I could go back in time, probably wouldn't have gotten this. Though it does look pretty, like I said, in photos. So I'll probably just keep it and use it for photos, but can't recommend you guys pick this up. All right, so the next lipstick I have, I 
love the formula but I also can't recommend it but this is more to do with like morals <laughs> Uh, and this is from Jeffree Star, and this is the lipstick in Red Rum. It's a gorgeous shade. The formula, I, I gotta say, Jeffree Star, like, as a person, is a shit show, but, like, his makeup is ballin'. It's ballin'. And before I was, I finally decided to stop being, like, a hypocrite and no longer buy from him, I had all these lipsticks, and I had a bunch of, the, like, the, the mini kits. And this is from one of the mini kits and this is just honestly one of the best red lipsticks ever but i can't i don't want to keep talking about it i don't want to recommend it because it's like ugh, you know so if you have this um i am a big uh i am adamant that if you've already bought the product don't just throw it out to make a statement because you're only hurting yourself you should at least use the actual makeup like i've got some jeffree star palettes i'm trying to just use them up and get them out of my collection which is the most that i can really do and i want to do the same for the lipsticks um if you already own the lipstick it's a great option i'm not going to tell anyone to go out and actually like purchase it because i am no longer supporting jeffree star or jeffree star cosmetics if you missed the video about that kind of whole thought process i went through um, and how I realized I basically was being a hypocrite because I was holding different influencers to different standards based on how much I liked the makeup. Although that video up in the cards. Never fear though. If you are looking for a good red lipstick, this one is affordable. And it's just as good as the Jeffree Star one. If not, like just a little bit better because this brand, while has been ha has had some controversy, isn't like, it's not Jeffree Star. And this is from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in the shade Missy and Fierce. Okay, packaging, gorgeous. Shade name, adorable. The applicator on this, I actually really like. It's kind of like a pointed doe foot, but it's got like a little divot right here, which allows you to get a little bit more product and really spread it out. You can do a full application with just one dip in, and I think it looks gorgeous and it wears so well and it's super comfortable one thing i will say though um make sure you do like mix this up and shake it up because if you just pull it out like i did and try to put it on it might not look the best you gotta like give it a good little shake -a mix it up because otherwise you might get like some clumps especially if you had this lipstick for a little bit you really only have to babysit this if you're going to be eating or drinking if you're going to put this on and you know you're not going to eat or drink you really could leave this at home because honestly like it wears really well but if you are going to eat bring this with you you're going to have to fix up you know the normal oh excuse me the normal butthole area I love this because it's pigmented, it's comfortable, it lasts, and it's so affordable. I'm pretty sure this is around $4.99 and a Wet n Wild always goes on sale. And if you get it at a CVS or at a Walgreens that you can use like coupons and you can get points and just, ha, huh, just a lot of the lipsticks from the Liquid Catsuit line are very hit or miss. This one is really good. I think there's like three good lipsticks from that line that I would always recommend. And this is one of them. It doesn't hold the top spot though. Because the top spot I'm wearing right now. And can I have a drum roll, please? The number one red lipstick that I always reach for, that I always wear, that nine times out of ten, if I'm wearing a red lip or I have a red lip in one of my Instagram photos and you guys go, oh my god, that looks so pretty, what is it? It's this lipstick, Fenty. Fenty. This is the original Lip Stunna in the shade Uncensored. I've tried more expensive, I've tried cheaper lipsticks, and you really can't beat this. Packaging, stunning. This was the first one that came out, and it's just gorgeous. I love everything about it. The applicator, different. It's the same kind of take on the doe foot that the Wet n Wild has, but it's just a little bit different. It's more of an hourglass shape, and it's flat on the end, and it's just so easy to get a crisp line every day time i love the way that it's kind of like a pot that you dip into it makes me feel fancy whenever i wear it but it's also like utilitarian and useful and yes it does close all the way and it doesn't spill i've thrown this into my purse how many times and i have not gotten red lipstick in a white valentino bag yet i spelled lipstick in your valentino bag oh you spell I honestly just cannot say enough good things about this red lipstick. It lasts, it's a gorgeous color, it looks great, it's comfortable, and it's like 95% kiss proof. Like, I could probably, let me see. 
Yeah, you get like a little bit of a hint here. It's probably the most kiss proof out of everything. Like don't make out with someone when you're wearing this. But if you do a little like, we're Spanish, right? And so whenever you greet someone, you go like mwah, mwah, like on the sides, right? You're not going to get red lipstick on their face if you do it. Let's put it like that. Unless you're like drooling. And all jokes aside, this is a great lipstick. And it's been my go-to ever since I bought it. And that's been, oh jeez, has it been two years? I think it's been two years. Yeah. No matter how many red lipsticks and you've seen how many I already have and that's not even like for the black lipstick video I had to go out shopping and find black lipsticks so the red lipstick video. I just had all of these already <laughs> so Who knows maybe I need to go out and find more red lipsticks and do a volume two of this one as well So let me know down below. Do you like any of these red lipsticks? Are there any that you want me to buy and try out for the next volume and do you even want to see a volume two? Let me know all of your answers down below. And while you're down there, if you liked this video and you kind of like the series that I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It really helps me in the ever-changing YouTube algorithm of craziness. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.